Is this thing on? Eh? Can you hear me? All right. Thanks for checking in, guys. This is your boy, The Bad Wolf. I've uh, been getting some positive feedbacks on the camera and the sound, so that is good. Glad this uh, $1,000 camera um, is actually doing its job compared to the couple hundred dollar ones that were just, well, emergency use and crap. Let's carry on, shall we? All right, so this particular video is about Form 8233, all right, with the IRS. What is it? What does it do? All right, so Form 8233 should be used uh, for non-resident aliens, students, teachers, researchers to claim exemptions from withholding on compensation for services that is exempt from taxation under the U.S. tax treaty. Students, students must provide a statement required by uh, Revenue Procedure 87-8. Uh, Let's take a closer look, shall we? All right, out of the way, out of the way. Okay, so if you need instructions, this is just on irs.gov. Um, you can look for 80, Form 8233, and then you can click Instructions for it. Um, sure, open file. Do that voodoo that you do so well that you do, but not here do you dare to do, do. All right, anyway, so let's go. Um, now, remember, guys, that um, though it seems like they are changing some of their information, technically we are still supposed to be uh, recognized as non-residents because we are non-residents of the U.S. territory um, and we're aliens to them, so we are, in fact, foreign. But they are also changing that statement. So, they're and yes, we're on the, we're on the inside. Um, so, we are known as non-citizens of the United States, okay? So that's, that's what their um, new term for us seems like it's gonna be. They're even using US national, I believe now, to mean persons born in Washington, DC. Because in fact, if you're born there, you're a national to the US, so US national. Um, so, All right, so here's the form, and it says, I am the beneficial owner of all of the income that, re that this form relates. I am the beneficial owner, or the beneficial owner is not a U.S. person. It's correct, because your name in actual all capitalized letters is, well, the U.S. person. Um, the beneficial owner is a resident of the treaty of a of the treaty country listed on line 12a and or 12b listed above and there's a treaty between that country and the u.s okay so let's go up okay so 12 everything else looks like it's pretty straightforward you can pretty much get through all of that your name your basic in information Blah, blah, blah. So, 12 says, if compensation is exempt from withholding based on a tax, tax treaty benefit, provide, so one of these, so either A, tax treaty on which you are basing exemption or withholding from. Okay, so let's say, for instance, you're USA or Canada. You would want to put Canadian or whatever treaty there. Um, treaty article on which you are basing your exemption. So if you have a specific article, okay, so you're from, let's say, uh, Mexico, okay, uh, maybe you'd say Mexican Constitution or uh, Mexican Constitution article, whatever, okay, because there are there are, are them, I'm not going to list them all here, you have to do that on your own, but that's what you'd want to put in B. You don't have to put one for each one, find one and you put it there. Um Okay, so C says, uh, okay, that's just adding the stuff up. Then it says country of residence. Okay, so if you're a American national, that's where you want to put United States of America. All right, 
And then I would put in there, uh, not the U.S. or not the corporate U.S., all right, remember, educational information only. Do your own research. Contact your tax guy or your uh, IRS agents to specify. Give them the correct definition of your status, okay? Um, otherwise, it is going to be looked at. If you tell them, oh, I'm a U.S. citizen, they're going to say, well, then this obviously isn't you because you have a U.S. citizen side, but you also have a private non-citizen national side or an American national side, okay? So, uh, or it says, or else 13, um, put in your amount, tax treaty, okay, so look up your country and put the tax treaty in there, um, or your article, okay, um, sufficient facts to justify the explanation from withholding claimed on 12 or 13. So number 14 is where you're going to put in any supporting information you have. Um, you might even want to attach your passport to that or else pull down uh, any codes that are going to help... Um, Define that you are, in fact, this non-citizen national. You want to put that there. Now, remember, guys, I do not help you guys fill out these more than here. You have to contact the IRS because those are people who are, well, paid to do it. All right? And uh, I don't get mixed up in people's court cases. I don't do bonds. I do any of that stuff because that's all personal stuff, and that should be done in the private and by you. So you have to do your own research to do that. I will not help you do those things. Uh, I know people keep asking, you know. Um, so even on here, okay, so this video may not be for you because check it out. It says here, do not use this form if you are a beneficial owner who is receiving compensation for dependent persons performed in the United States and you are not claiming a tax treaty. You need to use your W-4, meaning you're a regular person. But we know you should probably be using a W-4-V form. Entertainment purposes only. Okay. Um, receiving non-compensatory scholarships, fellowships, income, and you are not receiving any personal services, income from the same withholding agent, a W-8-B-E-N should be used. Some people should use a W-8-B-E-N-E if you're a legal entity. Okay, so claiming only foreign status, so if you're only claiming the foreign status, or treaty benefits with respect to income that is not compensation for personal services, form W-8-B-E-N. That's it, guys. It's all right there. They're giving you guys all the remedy. You just have to read. You just have to get you a piece and start understanding and stop grabbing ankles. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> All right. So this information may not be for everybody. It's definitely not for a U.S. citizen. These are for people who have a U.S. citizen entity that they are responsible for as an authorized agent, but also have a private side. You can navigate or create a new entity and use it accordingly. So as always, guys, I'm not responsible for any of this information or how you use it or do it much like and not even much like as in like all of the videos on my platform. And so this is my disclaimer, is that you have to do your own research. I'm just here to show you a path, what you do with it, and how you walk with it, and talk is up to you. Are you not entertained? So that being said, guys, that is it. Um, make sure you hit the bell, like, subscribe. Check out blacksite32.com for additional information on some of the other services. Also, you can check out the merchandise down below on your phone or app right now, because I'm still duck in your phone and well i want to be let out of this crazy box i want to do stuff i feel like you're slaves everybody's out there like you guys know what i look like i don't know what you guys look like and then you are just making turning turning me on and making me dance like a almond colored monkey when you want me to it's so weird i don't have any choice Hey, you guys came to check it out. I never once said I wasn't weird. Besides, you got to be a little crazy to understand this stuff or to read it and try to understand it. So that's it, guys. I appreciate your time. Have a great day. Talk to you guys later, and I'll make some more videos. I'm going to take a break for a couple weeks. So I loaded you guys up. Now you guys got to do the rest. Talk to you later.